Hi. Good morning. Rudy. And Kelly. We are Conscious Partnership. We are Conscious Partnership. So what, what is yeah, what is that? What, what is that? What's conscious partnership? What is conscious partnership? So if you look at the definitions of conscious and partnership, we'll start there. Conscious is to be awake, to be aware, to be mindful. Mm -hmm. And partnership is union, connection, and the ability to to create a, a joint effort. Yes. And so when you put those two things together, conscious partnership, um, you know, what is what does that really look like on the court? Because I think that the idea of it might sound really nice, like, oh, that's awesome, conscious yeah. partnership. And I want that. <laughs> yeah, and then you actually have to put it in practice, yeah. and it's a lot harder. And it is a lot harder. And why is it harder? Well, Be yeah. Well, because we all come with baggage, whether you're conscious of it or not. Totally. So the most important thing is to get really aware of what you're bringing to the table yep. and being 100% responsible. And we have this belief. Yeah, so most people say like, oh, a relationship should be 50-50. And we actually roll like this, 100-100, right? 100. So <laughs> he's 100% responsible for his stuff and I'm 100% responsible for my stuff. And when we come from that place, we have the opportunity to actually heal things that have nothing to do with one another. That's right. That's really what that means is that we're really conscious when we're in a fight, like I'm conscious of what's being triggered in me that has nothing to do with her at all. It has everything to do with all my beliefs and the, the experiences that I've had that have shaped me that make me really uncomfortable in that moment Right. with Kelly that has nothing to do with her. And it's great when we're conscious of that and we can own it. And it's not great when we go unconscious and forget and really think it's because of the other person, which, and you know, that's how I did every relationship before this one. And that's how most relationships function. It's yeah. really hard to be very responsible at 100% level and not blame the other person, despite all the evidence that you may find that they're responsible. Because you can find all the evidence to make that case real. That's true. And I want to actually present an idea this is more something to just plant the seed in your consciousness is that it really is never about the thing out there because if it was mm -hmm. every person on earth would react the same way to it so the fact that you can have one thing happen and have two different people react differently to it says that it's not about the circumstance that's right and right even right. the same person on two different days on one day, I could react to something and have compassion and go, oh, right, that's just about that person. Mm -hmm. And then on the next day, I could not be doing so well and react and take it personally. So it's really never about that's what's right. happening, ever. It's what's happening on the inside, in the internal, in the dialogue that you're having with your own beliefs. And most of the time, if you're not clear about it, you're just going to manifest the same thing that happened in the past. Yep. So like I come from a lot of neglect and abandonment in my in my experience as as growing up. And so whenever I see her on the phone even and she's distracted and I say something and she doesn't hear me, I can immediately go into I'm being neglected and I'm being abandoned and she's not safe and I can create a whole story of like how she's that way and I, I'll create that. And then I'll literally yeah. take it out on her and be either passive aggressive or you know, make it seem like that she's doing something to harm me and she mm. doesn't even know it. But if I come to her instead and say, hey, I'm I'm feeling I'm feeling triggered into that. I'm being neglected and I know that's not what you're doing, but I just need to call it out. Right. So it's not in my present space. Yes. And, and then all of a that. sudden. Yeah. And we both do it. And all yeah. of a sudden you gain your power back. Exactly. And this taps into the radical honesty thing, right? It really isn't about me or him it's about an experience that he had in the past and so this is so perfect and if you watch couples because we work with a lot of different couples mm -hmm. you'll pull in exactly the perfect partner that's right. that will trigger all of your stuff that's right and it's not that because right. the partnership is bad or not working it's because they're the opportunity for you to work it out yeah so with him and yeah. when he sees me like that my old tape and story is that I'm bad, I ruin everything, and I'm just practically evil, right? And everything is my fault. So if I don't catch it in the moment and he's seeing me like that, and I hook unconsciously mm -hmm. into that old tape, watch me play out what a bad girl I am, mm -hmm. you know? And so it's the perfect dance. 
That, yeah. Although in the beginning we didn't feel that way, right? It felt scary, like, oh my gosh. That's why we do this work, because yeah. we really believe in it, not just from an intellectual place, but from an experiential place right. of actually practicing it every day, every day. So when we talk about partnership, that's really what we're talking about in the union piece and in the connection is that there is a perfect union to create a wholeness around healing each other's wounds. It's true. The container of partnership is the most sacred space to work this stuff out and become free if both people are really willing to show up for that party. And it's been mm -hmm. a magical, excruciating <laughs> at times, yeah. right? Because transformation's messy. It's true. You know, if you want to avoid the mess, I don't know. You're not going to work it out. You know, that's just the truth. Yeah. It's, it's, there's nothing like it. But right before the, the magic and the manifestation is the mess. So you have to actually, the only way through it is, is through it. So we invite you. We invite you to participate in the magic. <laughs> yes, we do. And the messiness. mess. <laughs> yes, the magic of messiness. <laughs> awesome. Have a beautiful conscious day. We love you. Love you. Love you. <laughs> Bye.